everybody, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and it won't be wrong to say that I am here to bring smile to your faces. Why? Because I am back with such a great news for many people out there. Yes, you read that right in the title. This video is about the big news that Canada is scrapping its mandatory hotel quarantine and 14 day quarantine as well. No, it's not a speculation, prediction or a rumor anymore. It has officially been announced by the government of Canada. So in this video, we'll discuss who all people would be eligible. We'll discuss uh, when this rule would be applicable. We'll discuss many other questions that you might have. And hopefully by the end of this video, you would get an answer and a smile to your face. If you're interested, stay tuned. Alright guys, let's try to understand this announcement point by point. I'll try to answer most of your questions, but still some of your questions might be unanswered and we'll try to cover them in the later videos. Okay, so what exactly is the announcement? So travelers who are fully vaccinated would not need to serve the mandatory hotel quarantine or the 14 day quarantine. So what would be the new requirements? Travelers would still need a negative RT-PCR test 72 hours before their flight. After that, when they land in Canada, they would need one more test. The test would be done at the airport. And then after that, they would need to go to their home where, or hotel, wherever they are going. Uh, they need to wait until they get the negative test report. So it might be one day, two day or three day. And after that, once you get the negative test report, you're free. You don't need to quarantine for 14 days. Oh God, I've been waiting so long for this news. Finally, this news has arrived and I'm really, really happy and pretty sure many of you would be very happy as well. So now, when would these rules be effective from? So the exact date hasn't been announced yet, but it's been said that it might be in the first week of July, just a couple of weeks from now, depending on certain situations like the COVID cases in Canada continue to decline and the vaccination rates goes up. So probably you can expect that in the first week of July, this rule would be applicable. Okay, now very important question, which all vaccines would be approved? So they have confirmed that four vaccines that have been approved by Health Canada until now uh, would be eligible. So all those people who have got a Pfizer vaccine or a Moderna vaccine or an AstraZeneca vaccine, which is actually the COVID shield in um, India, after that, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine as well. So if you have got a Covaxin or if you have got a Sputnik V or any other vaccine, at the moment, this rule won't be applicable to you. But yes, they have said that as and when Health Canada approves more vaccines, this rule would be applicable to uh, all those people who have got other vaccines, let's say Covaxin or Sputnik V or any other vaccine around the world. Okay, so another big question, who all people would be eligible for this rule who can skip the hotel and the home quarantine. So as soon as I heard about this news, I read many news articles. Some of them just said travelers, some of them said Canadian citizens and permanent residents. Somehow I was not convinced. While the details were not updated in the official website of Government of Canada, Canada.ca, I watched the complete press conference um, conducted by the health minister where this was announced. It was clearly said that this is applicable to all the travelers who were earlier exempt from the travel restrictions. So let it be Canadian citizens, permanent residents, international students, all those people who are working here for essential services, uh, they might have the work permit, all those people who are uh, you know, family members of the permanent residents. If earlier you were exempt from the travel restrictions, then this rule would be applicable for you. But this rule would not be applicable for all those people who have got a tourist visa and who want to visit Canada for the purpose of tourism. So please don't have any doubt about it. I'll provide a link to that press conference. I'll also provide a timeline also so that you can check it out. And I believe that these tiny but crucial details would be available on the official website canada.ca very soon. Um, they might be deciding on some other factors like the exact dates on all of those factors. They would be updating it very soon. I'm pretty sure they would be providing a step-by-step -step guide uh, to judge if you are eligible uh, to skip the hotel uh, quarantine and the home quarantine. When that's available, I'll definitely let you know. But until now, uh, I've told you that yes, you should not worry. 
all those people would be eligible to skip the hotel and the home quarantine. Okay, now which all document might be required to prove that you're fully vaccinated? Okay, before I discuss about the document, an important point that I might have missed earlier, all those fully vaccinated people should enter Canada after 14 days from their second dose. Because as you know, antibodies get developed in your body after 14 days of the vaccination. So once you have got the second vaccination, you should wait 14 days before arriving or landing in Canada. Okay, talking about the travel document. So it hasn't been confirmed exactly what kind of document would be required. Certainly some proof that you have been uh, fully vaccinated, you have got the two doses uh, would be required. It might be a certificate, it might be uh, a letter issued by the government of your country that you have got the two doses. Yes, there are chances that they might need English version of those uh, documents. So maybe you've got a document which is in Urdu or in Hindi or in any other language, you might need to require uh, that to be translated to English. But yes, as and when the details are declared about that. With these tiny details, I'll definitely try to create another video to update you with these to the point details. And yes, talking about the document, you might have many questions about the vaccine passport. That is going to be the future. I'll try to talk about it in a different video. But yes, there's no talk of vaccine passport as such. But yes, they would certainly need some form of uh, document when you arrive or when you land here in Canada. Okay, now the next question. What about the people who are not vaccinated or who are partially vaccinated? Okay, let me tell you that these details haven't been published yet or unless specified anywhere very clearly. Let's say you've got one vaccination dose. Let's say you haven't got any dose, but you're still eligible to travel to Canada. You're exempt from the travel restrictions. In that case, you would still be able to land in Canada. Your entry won't be restricted. But yes, I believe that you would still need to serve the mandatory three day hotel quarantine and the 14 day home quarantine as well. But again, a disclaimer, once this has been published officially, I'll confirm that to you in another video. So these were some of the generic questions that I believe everyone would have in their mind. And I tried to cover and answer all of those. If you have any specific questions, please put it down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer that as and when I get the update about it, the official update uh, about it, I'll try to answer that. Okay, now talking about another good news, a bonus good news. News about the travel restrictions between Canada and US land border. Millions of people on either sides are actually waiting eagerly when those restrictions would be lifted and they can travel uh, between US and Canada. So Justin Trudeau himself confirmed that these restrictions would be lifted once 75% Canadians get their first dose and 20% get their second dose. At the moment, I think it's around 60% and 10%. So 60% have got their first doses and 10% have got their second doses. So probably somewhere in July, we can expect that as well, that the Canada-US land border restriction would be lifted. Isn't that a good news for everyone who is there in the US and Canada? I'm sure you want to travel to the another country and explore and you know have some good time in 2021, finally. Okay, anyways guys, these were all the major updates that I wanted to share with you. Yes, there would be follow up videos uh, when there's an official update in the Government of Canada's website. Then I'll try to create a video with the tiny details as well, confirming those points, those questions that you might have apart from those ones that I've clarified in this video. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button. If you have any comments, any feedbacks, please put it down in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching this video.